Hey Sagittarius, this is LT Tarot doing your April 2021 love reading. So I hope you guys are having a great month. Um, I'm having a great month. <laughs> um, if you guys, if you haven't already, please make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. So this is reading here is going to go for those people who already have someone in mind or um, or in a relationship. Because this is the one you love reading. So there's three main things that we're going to talk about on this end. Which is... Sorry, trying to get it where you can see it. Um... A little bit. All right. Sorry. So, um, yeah. So this reading here is going to talk about um, the situation, what's coming towards you, and your feelings. Um, then I'll do a extended version of this reading, which is going to be how your partner feels about you, what they want to tell you. Will this relationship last? Are you with the one? And do they love you? So I've already pulled out some cards. What I'm going to do is pull out some um, angel cards. Now, this deck here, it can um, represents like love, but this is more or less just kind. Of, I mean, more or less like overall energy, like for the month, like what your angels want to tell you. So I'm gonna get this out and start my shuffling. So this is the deck we're going to use. So you guys, I just read one of you guys' um, counterparts book. Um, I read Cicely Tyson. She's born December 19th. She's a Sagittarius um, book. It was pretty long, but it was pretty interesting. So Sagittarius, if you guys just want to read that book is good i think that people will learn a lot spiritually if you're into her or you into that type of thing that was my shout out no promo here <laughs> i just thought it was a good book so the first card we have here is divine order and it says everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlying order so every know that everything is um the way it needs to be the way that your love life is right now, the way that your uh, your money is right now, um, your career, it's exactly the way it needs to be right now. Um, it's divine order. God has everything the way he wants it to be in your life. The next one we have is victory. And it says your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So, guys, work on having more faith because you already have the victory. And then the last one is moon cycles. And it says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestation and capitalize upon these cycles. So, definitely um, pay attention to your moon cycles here. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and jump right into the reading. Um, I did want to do those messages for you at first, so... So let's jump into the reading. And the overall energy is the hang muse, which represents like the hangman. So this is letting me know, like, um, Sagittarius, for some reason you feel a little trapped. It's like you're not being your true authentic self. I mean, everything is the way it needs to be. But as far as your love life, I think that you need to actually show more of you. I feel like sometimes you guys get um, hung up on the wrong things. Maybe you worry too much. Um, this card represents like being like maybe spiritually trapped or something like that. But I feel like that's not necessarily the case with you guys. I feel like this is just one of them things that you just kind of like need to show this person who you are. Like I feel like you're maybe a little closed off. Um, but you definitely need to show your, uh, show your partner who you are. Because I feel like a lot of things is going on in your life. I mean, you're busy, busy. Like, super, super busy, Sagittarius. And so I feel like you're juggling a lot. I feel like you're juggling this relationship and juggling, like, the things that you want to do in life. So I feel like, you know, if you're building an empire, you could be, like, you know, trying to find a balance where you have your relationship here and then you have your your um, your um business and finding that balance. Also, you just want to kind of, like, bring fun in everything you do. You don't want to... um 
be bored. Like you're the type of person that has to be doing something, has to be having fun. And you get bored really easily. So you're trying to bring fun in everything that you do. You guys are, like I said, I feel like you're not all the way open with your partner. Because you do have the nine of inspiration, which is like having a wall up. Um, so I feel like you guys are having a wall up. You're not showing your partner who you are. So I feel like this is a big um, thing for you this month. So definitely want to work on juggling, you know, with spending time with your partner. But also add one more thing into that juggle, which you're actually um, letting this person know who you are. Being like showing this person who your true authentic self. I feel like Sagittarius is afraid to show who they really are to their partner. I mean, you're showing like you're showing them who you are, but not all. I feel like there's a lot of secrets that needs to be um I mean revealed. And I feel like you guys are really not showing that person. It's like you're being um like this person right here, she has a stone face. Um if you can see it. Her face is kind of stone face to face, where she's not showing no emotions. And this is like letting me know, like, you're not showing this person, like, you care about this person, but you're not showing this person this emotional side that you have. Sorry about that. It's like every time I try to do a reading, my thing does that. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, queen of emotion, it's like, let me know, like, even though you're not showing this person that your emotions full, uh, truly, you have a lot of feelings towards this person. So you need to like start trusting your intuition more and understand that this relationship is about to go to the next level. So it is really important for you, uh, in order, uh, sorry, important to you guys that you show this person who you are, because I felt like this month you may have been doing something a little different than what you normally do. You know, I feel like I really feel like that. Like I don't know why I just got that message. It's like I feel like a lot. Some of you Sagittarius are showing this person a different side of you, like. You know, you guys been trying to be perfect and trying to be loving and try to, like, be the perfect partner. But this month, I feel like you've been showing this person a different side of you, a little more intimate side of you. You do have the sun card, which is letting me know, like, there's a lot of success in this relationship. Some of you guys may be dealing with someone who has kids or will have kids with this person. But it's like, this card also just kind of, like, represent, like, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. But I just feel like you guys are like having a lot of success when it comes to this relationship. It's a little more easier than past relationship. Because I feel like this reading is really about opening up. I feel like you guys are really need to take a, a leap of faith when it comes to showing your emotions here. So I feel like, um, you know, just kind of go, go for it. Like show this person who you really are. Start like um, taking off the veil when it comes to this relationship or t I just feel like you've been so fearful in the past about showing people who you really are and showing people about r real things that you have, you go through. Maybe you have a medical condition or something like that. And you've been afraid to let this person know because you may feel like this person may judge you or you may, um, you know, whatever it is, it's like you guys are just need to like take that leap of faith. Uh, faith because I feel like you guys feel like this is a good person to trust but you kind of just scared on trusting this person and that's like the center of the energy though like taking a leap, a leap of faith like that's the most important thing of this whole reading is that you guys need to work on taking that leap of faith here the next card we have here is the death card so it's let me know like you're doing a lot of releasing work in order for you to open up and show this person who you really are, you have to, like, let go of some past demons and actually um, release, you know, release any negativity that's holding you back. And I feel like that's a huge thing for you this month. Ooh, you guys got the ten of emotions. So you guys are emotionally fulfilled in this relationship, but you just feel, like, a little on the edge about really showing this person who you are. But you guys are really are emotionally fulfilled in this relationship. With the eight of materials, is letting me know, like, you guys are really, like, trying to get to know this person. Um, and I feel like this person really wants to get to know you. So because you guys are in this energy, yeah, go ahead and tell this person something intimate, you know, something personal for yourself. Doing this, we have the six of voices. And the six of voices let me know, like, there's a lot of uh, positive change that's happening in your life. You know, like, this card here... 
represents like travel, like this person may live further from you and then maybe they're moving closer to you. It could mean your partner, um, you know, I like, I love this card on the actual regular tarot deck because it's like a woman, a man, and then it's a child. And so this person may have a child. Maybe you're very protective over this child, you know, um, but I feel like this is just, a, this represents a lot of positive changes here. And so your outcome, I feel like your outcome is like you're getting over a lot of um, negative thoughts, maybe a lot of conflict that you had in your life or competition. You kind of like letting go of um, people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And that is not this partner. You're just letting go of things that, I feel like you're letting go of things that does not serve you when it comes to um, being open in this relationship. I feel like you're really letting go. And I feel like you're bossing up, you know, with the Emperor card. And you're, like, just taking the lead and saying, hey, you know what? I wasn't, like, showing you all of me, but now I'm going to show you all of me now. So let's do what's coming towards you guys in love. Let's do what's coming towards you. Get my deck. I feel like this is a good reading, um, Sagittarius. It's like it means that you really care about this person and you really want uh wanna open up. Okay. See so we got any jumper cards that wanna come out. I feel like you're detaching for an old way of thinking. I feel like the way that you used to think, you're detaching from that. I feel like you're healing your solar plexus by opening up your heart um, or opening up your mouth and telling this person how you feel. Um, this is going to rebuild um, this relationship. I feel like this relationship never had any problems though. I feel like, but you're rebuilding who you are and what you thought about love. I feel like this relationship is actually reshaping your thoughts about love here. This person comes out to be very nurturing. I feel like once you tell this person um, everything that's going on with you, they're going to be very nurturing towards you. You know, they're going to understand exactly what's going on um, in this relationship. And they're going to embrace, like, whatever those flaws that you have. And it's going to make you embrace who you are. I feel like it's just going to, re um, not rebuild, but I feel like it's going to make you stronger. Um, build up your confidence when it comes to, like, sharing um, something intimate with this lover. And it's going to balance out your heart chakra here. So I feel like you're going to be truly balanced when it comes to this relationship. So let's do your feelings. Let's shuffle these cards here and find out what are your feelings. Your feelings is you want to trust this partner. You definitely want to trust this partner. You feel like you want to, with the Just Breathe card, you want to just take in every moment and really truly experience love. So you know, like, in order to do that, you have to just trust this partner to do that. Um, your feelings were, uh, about your partner is you want to nurture them as well as they want to nurture you. I feel like you love the nurturing part of this relationship and you want to continue to do that both ways. You feel like this is a uh, this partner is a well deserved reward, and you feel like you need to um, reward your partner for uh, by telling them something intimate about you because they you feel like they've been uh, doing so well, or you guys been doing so good together that you just want to really just open up your heart and tell them something. Your biggest thing is you want to heal from your past. You want to heal from past hurt. You feel like you wasn't really able to tell this uh, tell people, period. Um, about who you were and now you finally felt somebody that you was comfortable enough to really just share uh, yourself and share your vulnerabilities with them
this person is healing your chakras. Like I said, they're healing your sacred chakra as well. Like they're balancing you out by just opening up your, um, you know, uh, open up and balancing your chakras. And this, the biggest thing is that you just have to trust the process. And this is a well-deserved reward for you too. Um, Sagittarius that this person is so, um, so loving, um, so nurturing, um, and trustworthy that they'll take whatever, you know, you've been, um, uh, not able to share with others and, um, you know, they'll take that information and actually help you get through and help you heal through it. So this is definitely a trustworthy person. So, um, definitely guys, this is going to be the end of this reading. Um, on the extended version of this reading, we're going to be talking about how your partner feels about you, what they want to tell you, will this relationship last, are you with the one, and do you um, do they love you? So, um, guys, if you made it this far, please make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel. I definitely want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!